But there was your time. Hmm? Was the time on your end? Hmm. I'm not sure. So let's really see. Okay. <laughs> so good morning this afternoon. Thank you for joining us this evening. Tonight. <laughs> if this is the first time on this channel, uh, this is Moni Muamau. Here we solve mathematical problems. We're going to talk about creativity, which is a very important skill as a mathematician. So remember you, um, like our page, subscribe, and also remember to turn off the notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified once we release more videos. Now, there's something we started, and I, I think we need to finish that. And we were discussing about um, creativity in interviews. And uh, we said there are two things that you need to master. Number one, you need to understand the mind of an examiner. And we said you need to understand the mind of an examiner is fixed. Number two is that you need to understand the syllabus from where they are getting the questions. This is very, very important. A friend of mine went for this interview and um, he was asked a very strange question. Very strange. He, he never saw it coming. He has never heard about that question. So someone asked. Um, he, he was applying for the post. He was applying to... Um, he, he wanted to join the organization as an accountant. So someone said from the panel, um, you're applying to become an accountant in this company and I can see your ethnic extraction. Is our money safe? Is our money safe? Very strange question, huh? Why would someone ask something like that, by the way? I, I don't know. Um, but anyway, let's think about this for a minute. Why would someone ask that, such a question? Now, we already understand that the mind of the examiner can be fixed on one end, but, but, but this is different. And here's the thing. S such kind of questions, you don't answer them directly. Take your time and understand what does the examiner want to achieve with this kind of question. And this kind of question, if you look at the syllabus, has been extracted from the book we call Emotional Intelligence. And the chapter specifically is a chapter called, um, uh, can I remember the name? Um, checking the Limits or Testing the Limits. So what is happening here is someone is trying to test your limits. And so you need to be extremely wise on how you handle that. And, and he didn't know what to respond, but this is how I recommend it in case that comes up again. This is a person who is trying to get you off balance for whatever reason. And this is what you need to do. If someone asks such a strange question, don't respond in the way they expect. This is what you need to do. Just laugh. And tell them I'm different. What is it? Number one, you have shown your emotional intelligence. But number two, you have covered yourself such that if in case it, it needed to get you off balance, then you're smart. Think of it this way. What happens if your wife asks you or your girlfriend asks you, they, they walk in <laughs> and they find you seated and they say, I don't like my hair. I don't like my hair. What do you think? Now, remember, <laughs> this is a setup. So, don't, don't, you, need to, you need to understand the examiner here. That's what, that's what you say. You know, this, the examiner is asking, so you need to understand the examiner. And also, from the textbook, which is extracted from. Now, you need to understand the examiner and understand that women don't ask questions for answers. They, they are asking questions as part of socialization. <laughs> So they, they are not asking you so that you tell them to go or not to go. No, it's part of their socialization. So how should you respond? I think you should say something like this. I like what you do with your hair. I really like it. I'm looking forward to see you once you come from the sun. What do you think about that? <laughs> but still, if you find you are not really doing very well with the answering questions, mm-hmm, something for you here and all we need to do is get you a small dosage it's something we have worked in for many years just need to get uh, uh, some something for you here something for you here and um, I'll first of all test it on, on my production manager let me see if it is uh, and this really works you know and 
looks like our money, brown as our money. <laughs> so I start with my production manager. Uh, let me make sure this is ready. Okay, this is okay. Amen, Abby. Nitiye, call, call. 